Hello, my name is Greg Zaris, and I'm a lead environmental health scientist in ATSDR, the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry based in Atlanta, Georgia. I'd like to welcome you to Module 3, Site Information and Data Gathering. This module is the third in an eight-module series about ATSDR's method to evaluate health impact from exposure to environmental contaminants. This method is known as the Public Health Assessment Process, or PHA. In previous modules, we explained ATSDR's role as a public health agency and provided a general overview of the PHA. In this module, we'll discuss how to obtain and document the data needed to conduct the health assessment. While working on the PHA process, you'll come across different types of data about the contaminated site and the community being affected by it. Depending on the site, you could get information from reading site reports, talking to representatives from EPA and other organizations, locating online articles or media coverage, and by talking to community members and community leaders. Throughout this process, you may wonder what of all this information is relevant to evaluating the potential health impact of a site. Am I asking the right questions? Do I have the information I need? And if not, where do I find it? You may also ask yourself about the best way to document the site facts. Module 3 will help you answer these questions. In this module, you'll learn about the importance of collecting site data and the steps needed to obtain the site information. You will find information about the types of data you need for the PHA, what are good data sources, and what factors you should consider when visiting the hazardous waste site. Module 3 also includes tools to help you document and organize the site evidence. Finally, this module will introduce you to the Gala Lumber Company case study, a fictional site to help you navigate and apply the concepts discussed in this course. Okay, are you ready? Let's start Module 3.